In our last video, we learned how to get the average of last five close prices by referencing each close price one by one, adding them up and dividing the result by five. In this video, we will do the same thing in a shorter way using loops. First, we make a new C bot called Learn3. In our C bot, we will use two types of loops to get the same result the for loop and the while loop. First, let's work with the for loop. If you're a programmer on C and also JavaScript, the syntax and idea is no different here. It starts by writing a for and opening a bracket. Within the bracket, you declare an integer which will either be a start or an end point. Here, we're counting from 1 to 5, so our integer will be our start point. And next, we write our condition for iteration. The line above simply states that as long as i, which starts at 1, is less than 6, Keep adding 1 to i each time the code within the segment is executed. That's the basic meaning of this line. Each time the code within the braces is executed, 1 is added to i and when i reaches 6, the loop will terminate. So the code will only be run 5 times. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It won't run on the 6th time. First, we declare a variable to hold the sum of the last 5 candles called total, which will be of type double, and set it to 0. Next, we say total plus equal to the close price of the candle the loop is currently on. So when i is 1, we are saying total plus equal to close price of candle 1. When it's 2, we're saying total plus equal to close price of candle 2. That will be the new value of total. This means that take the market series value, add it to total, and set the result as the new value of total. In the bracket after last, we will reference i, which is the current loop position. So when loop is at 1, we store close price of candle 1. Same for candle 2, 3 to 5. And the value of total continuously receives new close prices and adds it to its previous value. After getting total, we want to print total divided by 5 to our CBOT log. This will be our average gotten from the for loop. Next, we go down and make our while loop. We set total back to zero again and then we print it to be sure we have zero as total. Next, we make an integer called a and set it to six. This will do the function that int i did in the loop above. Now we say while. or let's start a as 1. While a is less than 6, you can copy the code for total and reference a in place of i. So when a is 1, we capture close price of candle 1. Each time the while loop is run, a will be incremented by 1 so that when it gets to 5, it will make its final run because after run 5, A will become 6 and 6 is not less than 6. A is equal to A plus 1 is the same as saying A plus plus or A plus equal to 1. The two loops above are doing the exact same thing we did in line 2 where we referenced 5 prices, added them up and found the average. But this method is shorter. From our loop, you can see that each time A is updated, its price is added to total. When A is 1, it gets price 
close price of candle 1. When A is 2, it gets close price of candle 2 and so on. Oh, finally, let's print our second average, which is total divided by 5. Both loops should give the same results. Now, moving to chart. We first place line 2 on chart. We click run for line 2 and we see the average for previous C bot that we made in our last lesson. If we also run line 3, we will see that we get the same average from the two loops we created. It was run first with the for loop, set back to 0 and then run by the while loop which also gave the same result. We can also print strings to our CBOT log to label our results and make them easy to understand. After writing a string which you enclose in double quotes, you must separate with a comma. Now let's build and test the seaboard. You can see average shown before each result and the middle where it was set to zero. Now I would like you to try something on your own. Find the average of the high and low prices of the last 10 candles. I will show you how to find the average of the open prices of the last 10 candles using the while loop. But on your own, you should find the high and low average of the last 10 candles using while loop and the for loop. You can simply copy the while loop code, change the device off for the average to 10 instead of 5. Let me also update my string to say average open price of last 10 candles. In market series, we reference open instead of close. We update our condition to less than 11 because we want to go from 1 to 10. Now let's try to build. Okay, we have an error. We already had int, int A declared before, so we don't have to declare it twice. But we have to set A to 0, so A can start over after previously reaching 5. You have to remove the C bot from chat and build it before running it or else you won't see the changes you made to the C bot on your chart. Now you should be able to write for the last 10 high and low averages using the for and while loop. See you in the next lesson.